Uh, Victoria asks, uh, for someone who's been work in front of the computer a lot, I'm a consultant who regularly works 12 hours a day. I'm back to back meetings and it's hard to take breaks. The problem is the sustained amount of time. And the easiest way to check, people always ask me how often do I have to take breaks? And I say, for me, it's three hours. Often the case, but not in all cases. It's really easy to check. So you just need an eye chart. Have it somewhere in your working space, somewhere in the space that you're normally at when you're exposed to a lot of close-up time. And take the opportunity to measure your eyes on the chart just by sitting in the room before you start this long, these long close-up time. See what line you can read. The distance of the chart doesn't matter. Like if you have a six meter chart, you don't have to be at six meters from it. What matters is use it as a reference, right? So you put it somewhere where you can read, say, halfway down the lines, for example, right? Like whatever's convenient for you. And then you have a bunch of close up, an hour or two hours. Once in a while, just look up at the chart, right? If things start to look blurrier, you can't read all the lines, right? Like it's important that you're at a distance where you can read, say, half the lines. When the line that you could before read pretty well now is getting blurry, your cilia muscle is locking up. That's when you need a break. And that could be an hour for you. It could be half an hour. It could be five hours. Three for me is kind of the limit. That's when you're in a, in a place where that eye strain is getting too much, right? Like that's when, yes, I understand. I understand work requirements. I, my eyesight significantly worsens during periods where I have to do just... I can't get away after three hours. Like it's sometimes it's life. But looking at the eye chart, like having that reference of going, okay, now I'm strained, gives you some incentive to go, what can I change about this? And maybe you can't do it today. Maybe you can't do it tomorrow. But at some point you go, okay, maybe I can break up my schedule a little bit. Right? Like maybe I can be like, this is my X break, right? Like bathroom break. Like, can I get away for 10 minutes, 20 minutes? How long before when I look at that eye chart again, does the line look clear again that was blurry before? That muscle spasm is resolved. And eyes change slowly. All of this stuff happens very slowly. So for you to go, okay, now I have my consulting job or my, you know, I'm a computer developer, whatever it is, computer software developer, whatever it is, where you're like, okay, I have to spend a lot of time in front of screens. You have the eye chart, you go, okay, X many hours, blur starts to creep up. What can I do about this? Not necessarily today, but in the intermediate term, eventually you get into a flow where you're like, I'm getting my break. And the eye chart generally throughout the day stays about the same. Right? Like if it's if it's just downhill where you could read the fourth line and then you can only read the fifth line and then you can only read the fourth, the third line, and you just you can read less and less of the eye chart throughout the day, that's bad. Right. So your goal is over the coming days, weeks, months that you maintain ideally throughout the day, you can read the same lines on the chart. That's the only goal. And again, it's super common for a lot of us to have jobs that require a lot of screen time. The goal is just to gradually kind of move it. Number one, the goal is to understand where, where eye strain happens for you. I chart super simple and then slowly move it to where that strain doesn't affect you to a degree that you can see it on a chart. You can't improve your eyesight until you have the strain under control. The first part of taking breaks and distance vision is just mitigating eye strain. It's once you're at that level where the chart looks the same all day, then you can start working on improvement. And again, having done this for so long, I get so many emails over the years and messages from people that say, it took me several steps, right? Like the first X amount of time, I learned the basics and I made it to this level where I was wearing differentials and then I got a bit of improvement and then I forgot about it and I got busy and then I came back to it. It's not necessarily a thing that you're going to accomplish in the next six months completely. It's perfectly okay to go, I made it this far in this go around, right? And then you get an email from me, I send automatic emails every six months or so and then you're like, oh, I should work on this. And then you get to the next level. So it's a long term, right? Like it's just like, eating reasonably well or not falling into an alcohol habit or whatever the case may be. It's a long-term part of life maintaining eyesight goal. Okay, that was a really long answer. I hope that helped, Victoria. Um, meow, 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 meow. Meow.